In this video, we're going to learn how to set up survey annotation, and we're going to start with a monument point. And so to do this, we need to first create an element template that dictates where we're going to put this in terms of our symbology. And so we'll select in our element templates, our survey and our annotation. And I am in a DGN lib where my survey features have already been set up, and that's part of the workspace development process. And so just to show under this particular file, under Feature Definitions, Survey, I have a series of survey features put in. And we're going to be working first on setting up annotations for control monuments. And so in my element templates, under Annotation, I have a folder here. I'm going to make a new template here called Survey Topo Label. And I'm going to select a level called Draft Survey Topo Level, which is here. And we'll close that. Once the element template is done, the next thing that we need to do is begin to develop our text favorite that has the content of our label. In order to build this topo label for our control point, one of the things I'm going to have to do is to reference in to my DGN library a file that has a topo point already mapped. And so I'm going to go to my attach tools and I'm going to attach a survey file that has already been loaded and I'll do a fit view and in this particular area I have a control point which we'll use as our example. Now we're going to proceed to open up our place text command and we're going to begin to build our label. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to select a text style that I have set up and the text style that I'm going to use here is called survey topo point label and that will set the proper fonts and text size and justification etc and I'm going to begin to build this label so if I select uh, point name colon these are the prefixes that I'm going to put in front of each field then I'm going to put in an entry for field code one for northing one for easting and one for elevation. Now I need to go select each of these particular entries. And so how do I do that? Is by going into the insert field command and under element properties selection for field type, that's what we're going to use. In this particular case, we're going to use the element properties and we'll select OK. And we must then choose the mapped node and in here, we're going to go down to our point feature and information. And here you're going to see, for example, the point name. Set your case here. If you want this, for example, to be all uppercase, you can go ahead and change that. Then we have the field code. So again, we'll go back to element properties. We'll select and down in our point feature, we will select field code. OK. Then we want our northing. Which is here. And again, just double check your label format. So master units, feet. If you want your accuracy to be changed, for example, to three decimal places. You can go in and set each of those properties per your preference. So there's our northing. And then we have our easting. Which is here. And then lastly, our elevation. And maybe I kick the elevation down to two decimal places and select OK. Once you have that content established, then using your left mouse button, hold down and select. And then right click, Save Text Favorite, and then Accept. 
So down at the bottom, you can see where it places the name here. So we're going to rename this. I'm going to call this Survey Topo Point Label. And then press Enter to accept that change. And that will then create our text favorite. So if you come back in, you'll see that new name, Survey Topo Point Label, has been established. And so that takes care of creating the element template and the text favorite. Now we need to create the annotation for this. So in our feature definitions drop down, we can go ahead and collapse that, go to our annotation groups, to our plan and our point. I'm going to make a new category here called survey. And then I'm going to make a new entry here. Call this control point label. And then we're going to right click and manage. And then we're going to create a new entry here. Add new horizontal point annotation. And the first thing we can do is go ahead and select our element template. There's our survey topo label. And let's go ahead and make this box just a little bit bigger now. And then we're going to go ahead and fill in the remainder of the properties. Uh, there's no where command here because it's just a point. And so we're not going to have a leader in this situation. And then for our placement, angle value and zero usually works quite well. And then I typically like to do a little bit of a vertical and horizontal offset from the point itself. These are just numbers that you can play around with for your preference. We're not placing a cell, so there's nothing to do there. And then lastly, we simply pick our text favorite. And so our text favorite is going to be our survey topo point label. Select that. So then you'll get to take a preview at what it would look like once that particular code is found. So once that is done, you have your annotation set up. Then you have to go to your feature symbologies and we're going to go to points existing control and you're going to find the particular ones that you want to assign that to I'm just going to randomly pick one here and this is where you will set up your annotation group okay so let's say for example you want to do this survey concrete monument you would select that particular annotation so survey and then survey point label. And then that will hook up that so when the mapping of the survey is done, you will then see that particular label on anything that you've assigned to that particular set of feature symbologies. So the final step is then to go ahead and test this particular annotation. And so if I go back to the particular file that has the survey in it, and I'm going to window in on this particular entry and then I'm going to go to our drawing production and model annotation and I'm going to select the annotate model and allow that to annotate and you'll see that label come in that we created and that will be the final step in the verification and so you will see the label works nicely and what we set up if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more such series consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.